I just checked into my corner room at the Chateau Lake Louise at the beautiful, stunning Lake Louise. Now we just got here on a really quick timetable, so I need to run downstairs for lunch, and then I'll be back up for a day full of activities. But first, lunch. After a quick lunch, we need to get suited up because our first activity today is going snowshoeing around the lake. Hoping to get some amazing photos, so I need to get ready for the cold. It's not too cold today compared to earlier, but since we're gonna be outside, I don't like taking chances when it comes to the cold, guys. Socks, gloves, scarf, I am good to go. Also, we got these amazing amenities. We love winter. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, M&M's. A little gift bag, we'll open this later on. So thoughtful. Still not over this view, though. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so we've been outfitted with our snowshoes and we're ready to head out for our adventure. I think we're gonna head up into the trees and um, cut our own trail because we're with a guy, so he's gonna show us everything to do. But it's amazing because I was here in the summer, I was here last fall. And of course, obviously the lake isn't frozen. I've never been here in the winter and it's so, so beautiful to see it like this. Later on, we're gonna be at an ice bar. We're gonna be skating on the thing. Like these whole two days are gonna be so full of activities here. I'm so, so excited. And honestly, it doesn't feel that bad. It doesn't feel nearly as cold as it did the other day. So I'm feeling really good. Bundled up, ready to go. We might have an incident because of how much snow we really have. <laughs> There's other people. Oh. <laughs> Look at that face. Alright, so we just stumbled across an igloo that our guide actually built and we went inside and all you have to do is light one candle and it'll keep you warm for the entire night apparently. It was really cool, I've never been in a full igloo like that. Um, this has been so amazing. These very snow laden trees, it's just, it's perfect. It's amazing. I'm sure you guys saw the footage where we'd shake the tree and all the snow would come down. Totally great. We got a manager's treat and we're able to come up on the roof and we can shoot down on the ice skating rink and the beautiful Lake Louise, including also the Bow Valley back behind me. Um, this is a treat. I've, I've all, you know, I love coming on the roofs of buildings, and, but you don't, you're not normally allowed to, especially big hotels like this. And the fact that we are able to come up here right now is really doing it for me. And it's just such a spectacular afternoon. Almost golden hour, not sure how much we'll get, but looking great. Okay guys, today we are going dog sledding with all of my brand new friends. Say hey. Oh, This is amazing, they pulled some strings so we're gonna go out and through the forest on these dog sleds which I've never done before. I'm very excited. I think they're all getting excited. Okay, Argan's getting in the sled first, I'm gonna be in the back and then we'll switch. Okay, so here we are in the sled. The dogs are going crazy. We're getting ready to go. Um, we're gonna switch off. We all had to pair off in groups of two. This is Argan. You probably met him a few blocks ago. Um, I think we're gonna go for a 45 minute cruise with ample time to take photos. I hope you can hear me. There is a cacophony of barking going on right now. Our guide is getting all the dogs hooked up and then we'll be underway. Excuse me. Hello. I'm gonna say, hey. Now that's iconic. We just 
took off. We're literally flying and all of a sudden the dogs are quiet. This is amazing. We were going so fast at the beginning there. They just know, took they just, off. Wow. They're super excited. They just want to go. This is what they love to do. How much can they run in a day? Well, we train our dogs to do the 10 miles. 10 miles, okay. Um, sometimes they run it twice in a day, but it really depends on what you train your dogs for. Um, yes. You can train them to do, you know, do up to 100 miles. Like the Iditarod type yeah, stuff? but you've got to train for that. Like that's not something you just decide to do when you train for it like one fall. Right. And You can see we've stopped off for a little photo break. Everyone's still being very loud. It's amazing when they start running, they just quiet right up because they're so occupied and busy. And I think they're just really excited. That's what it comes down to them barking so much. But when we first took off there, that like speed, wild, totally wild. Beautiful vista looking back at the mountains above Lake Louise right now. I think we're gonna head back on. Now we're out here ice skating on the famous Lake Louise. It is a little rough skating out here, but it's super cool being actually on the lake. And it's supposed to snow a ton tonight too, like 30 plus centimeters. So we're waiting for them to clear off a little bit more of the lake. But it's really cool because they built a whole ice castle at the entrance to the lake. And there's also an ice bar, which we'll be going to later on. And one of my favorite things ever too is on those huge skating rinks that are massive and you can go around and do big loops. As you can see, I'm just kind of cutting through the fresh snow here. And you can't quite see the whole glacier up there, but on a sunny day, it is the most spectacular view looking up at that mountain and the glacier up there. But overall, the dog sledding this morning was amazingly cool. I've never done anything like that. And hopefully we got some good shots. Hopefully the footage did it justice. I'm out here helping the girls take some photos for their blogs and their Instagrams and skating around. I've cleaned up, changed, ready for an amazing evening. Um, big snowstorm coming in tonight. Like, we're talking the potential of 50 centimeters. For those of you stateside, that's like a foot and a half of snow. Oh my god. It has been an amazing stay here at Lake Louise. And tonight we're going to go experience the ice bar, which is downstairs. I'm very excited for that. I've never actually been to an ice bar. I feel so Nordic. Excited for that. And tonight we're going to have another amazing dinner. But tonight's dinner is fondue. Swiss-themed Taking me back to Zermatt, missing the Swiss Alps, but I mean, I can't really complain because I would show you the view, but this is literally the view right now. It's totally approaching white out. I mean, not really, but you can't really see this, but I can, it is snowing. It's starting to pick up, snowing a lot harder than it was earlier. Aww. Ice bar, totally magical. Oh, I'm getting a wine. It is heavily snow snowing out here. Yeah. Cute photos. Did you get a hot chocolate? Yes. Oh, that looks so cute. Cheers. Look how incredibly covered my hair is and my jacket is. This is literally so magical. And the entire chateau is kind of lit up. It's just so perfect. It snowed. So much last night. I honestly think there's probably a foot of new snow outside and it's supposed to snow all day. This is amazing for my love of snow, but not great for our travels to Banff today. We we're supposed to be heading on a tour bus in, I think, about 25 minutes now. Take us down to the Banff Springs Hotel. It's gonna be curious to see what happens with this. There's a few roads that are closed. 
Some roads are impassable. I think our road is still open right now. The Trans Canada Highway between Banff and Lake Louise, I believe, is still open. It's probably gonna be snow, snow going. It's probably gonna be slow going. But let's take a moment to look at this first. I don't know if this really does it justice, but you can see that the ice castle's covered in snow. There's some people down there. It's pretty hard to show, but there's just a ton of new snow, and I love it though. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, I'm gonna head downstairs and meet the crew, and we're off to the highway adventure to Banff. So we just had a news flash. Our bus has been delayed by about an hour and a half-ish. Um, so now we're not gonna leave until about 11.30-ish. And this literally just happened like 10 seconds after I put the camera away, so I'm gonna leave my stuff here for now. Maybe go for a little exploration outside. Yeah. I just wanted to briefly come outside and give you actual context of how snowy it is. It is incredible out here. This is literally a winter wonderland. But yeah, it has delayed our travels to Banff today and I hope it doesn't get delayed any further because of course we have plans in Banff, but it'll all work out. You know, rather arrive safe and arrive alive than arrive on time, right? Look at the snow. There you go, that's how much snowed last night. And that is a, a giant bus. So that to give you a little context as to how snowy it is out here. I think we're just gonna chill in the gold lounge now. And stay a little dry. Okay, so now me and the crew are gonna take some portraits. We came out the back, and these, it, it is very clearly incredibly snowy out here now. Okay, we're out here taking portraits, and it's snowing even harder now. We're just crusted, and so this is amazing. I've, I actually have not seen snow like this in years. Actually, if not ever in my entire life, this is wild. Yeah, no, I just don't even know what else to say. This is just so great. <laughs> okay, so it's now 3.30. We were originally supposed to leave at 10.30, but um, the snow is parted enough for the bus to actually get here because the roads were kind of closed. We're heading up to the Bam Springs Hotel now, and that is the end of the Lake Louise adventure. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to follow along with our next adventure in Banff. I'm really excited. There's going to be some amazing stuff happening tonight. So we'll see you there. Thank you, Miss Lake Louise Hotel. You were an incredible experience, and we're off to Banff.